Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me in another little episode here in Satisfactory, guys. We were just about to start making some case beams in here. We're gonna need to put down three assemblers. And we're gonna do it the right way by making a blueprint, you know? Why not? I mean, we got it. Let's take advantage of it. Uh, classical manifold. I don't like to use anything else. You can do it the other way if you want. I don't care. It's exactly the same thing, only that this one takes a little longer until all your machineries get filled up. Nevertheless, if you want to put a chain of 12, 20, 30, uh, good luck doing that with the one that it's evenly spread. Okay, good luck. So, much easier to do it like this. At some point, you're gonna end up having a bunch of assemblers, one after another. This one is really easy to use. For example, you need six. You put this guy down, you mirror the assemblers on this side, and that's it. You already have your distribution system, everything so simple it's just amazing so we're gonna do this one real quick in here uh, in here please come on you can do this and this guy in here just to no just to have enough space to put the next three online if it's needed now the only issue with this guys is because it's that you're gonna have exit to the left or to the right depends where you're gonna go with your production so i'm not even sure i want to put the margins in our case in there uh exit is gonna be somewhere in the back so if I turn them, I think I will turn them. I will have my pipes entering from here, the concrete from here, and I want the exit that way. So case by case, we're gonna just put them like this. A mark one usually it's more than enough for these guys. If you're gonna put merges instead of the splitters, it will be even better. Normally you don't have big productions. You're gonna make this one mark too just for the fun of it. Not gonna put that one. No point in it. Let's go and save our blueprint in here. Exit left. Select icon and assembler. Save, clear, give me back these all my stuff. Uh, gonna have to go in here first. Edit, edit, please. Thank you very much. Assemblers, gonna put the little man in here. Uh, gonna take the undefined one, drag it in here. Apply changes. We are ready to go. Hi there, bud. How are you today? So, in here we are making our beams. In here we are making our pipes. Let's modify a little the scenery. Uh, no, let's leave it like that. Because eventually I want to go in there with the production. I'm thinking of grabbing another iron node from there. That guy, or that guy, bringing it on this belt, merge it into that box, make another exit iron in there, keep that line, make it a mark for all of that mark for, and from there bring another node or overclock that minor, have 480 on that belt, another to 40 here, just to make more pipes because we're gonna need those pipes. 
that being said, we're gonna have in here another, I don't know, eight, ten of these guys. So we're gonna have another six foundries put in here. We're gonna have in this space in here another ten of those or something like that. I don't know how many. That means we're gonna have another box, another exit roughly around here -ish. and that exit of pipes is gonna merge with that exit of pipes feeding into those assemblers the assemblers could be oriented either way that way that way whatever we want the exit I mean. so what i'm saying you could put it like this or you could put it like this however you want so in this case exit it's on the right but you could have them like this of course you gotta modify the blueprint have the exit on the left uh, on the left side in there i don't want to do that because i might do something with those beams at some point i want to have it here i want to have one of my entries aligned with this box in here because we're not going to use all of it and i want to leave myself some space because as i told you the other exit for pipes is going to come either in this box in the back in here or through the front and in this guy. I don't know which way I want to do it, but I'm going to do it at some point. So it's going to have to be on that line. i uh, going to use that one or that one. Let's use that one because it's going to make things a lot easier for us. In the one to our left, that guy is going to be reserved for the concrete. Okay, so. Uh, mark 3 let's say let's drop down and figure out where the concrete is coming the concrete is in here uh, something like that maybe perfect so I don't need all this good stuff is gonna have to come from there in here somewhat straight one the we got the concrete going the pipes are coming connect the power of course how is sitting with the power we're still doing good we're still doing good we're still doing good perfect so uh these guys will have to make encased pipes for us exiting through here let's see we're gonna make 12 per minute ain't much for what we're gonna need in here our own consumption is gonna be more than enough we're gonna have that box filled up it's already filled up but it is what it is the excess will be synced so we making those 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 we're not making those staters yet we're gonna take care of them in a minute anyway the next one was the quick wire let's make a run in there there it's on that line you see exactly how much we can for this let's see so we get some excess copper here we use this guy just to make the wires for i don't even remember what i think i think it was rotors no yeah rotors stators motors and more stators just to make something with them but i don't remember what i think automated wiring something like that Nevertheless, that is my Caterium belt. I don't remember how much we're producing. Maybe we should go and check that. Uh, we're gonna sink all the excess. Now that we have Mark IV belts, it's gonna be just fine. We're gonna have access to Mark V anytime we want because we already unlocked the aluminum, so it's gonna be just amazing only 12 why only 12 
that gate's over. Clock to see it. I didn't unlock those boom booms. So uh, let's uh, make it ninety. Why not? Uh, 36. Why 36? 45. 45. Perfect. We're gonna have frantic Ethereum or per minute. This gate's a mark one. It's perfect. It's filled up. So we have frantic Ethereum on this line. Perfect. Something happened with this belt is crooked. I'll pretend I didn't see that. It is what it is. Okay, so mark one more than enough. Come with it in here. Uh, no need for another box. I'm planning to make quick wire in here. 45 divided by 12. Three. Uh, <laughs> yeah, four. Okay, gonna put them straight in here so we get the quartz we can do that in that side make the silica we got the coal which will be needed at some point but we can go with it under this guy can stay on top i can safely put in here my four uh constructors mark three only mark one is needed, but let's just leave it like that. Okay. Mark one. And that one, mark one. Always. Good stuff. Get the power right in here. Uh, so quick, where? How much did I say we have? 45. And 45. Uh, uh they were filled up i don't remember so 45 we have 30 three zero ethereum ingots so each one of them three zero thirty that's 10 10 10 three of them then why we have 45 yeah because it's it's um Upgraded. So forty-five divided by four. That's eleven twenty-five each. Copy, please. Paste, paste, paste. They're gonna start producing in a minute. So we're gonna have forty-five. uh something is wrong because this is only two to five so it's not right 11 25 ingots i need them to consume not that that this one here so each one of them is consuming 12. okay 12. 45 minus 12 multiplier is 3 that's 9. so one of them let's see this guy is gonna have to have only 90 here 40 5 perfect so our production will be uh, copy paste paste grab those thank you very much 60 120 180 225 mark 3 Uh, give me one of those, please. Does it fit in there? Uh, H, please. I think it fits. Amazing. Well, oh, in that case. Yep, yeah, it works. Uh, we have... The quick wire being produced and put in here. Did I make the calculation how much it is? No. Yeah, I did, but I don't remember. 
180 to the 5. Perfect. We get to the 5. Now, we're gonna need those taters. Those are done in an assembler. You can make it with quick wire or we can make it with stators or uh, with wire. Uh, this one takes 16 steel pipe. I think we have those for 8 per minute. Ain't gonna need it. Let's make it only 4. That's gonna be 30 quick wire. Now the issue is I gotta transport from here the quick wire until there where the pipe are or the pipes from there in here so this is gonna be a totally different mess uh i think i want to go under with that even four staters it's a lot let's how much quick wire do i have down there it's a box almost filled up so they will have to come on this line in here. Of course, this line ain't gonna be good enough for it. So maybe bring them on the other side, you know, from there in here. So I have to bring them through here. That's quick wire. Okay. Uh, let me put in here logistics, please. So where exactly is gonna f is gonna be in here? Let's see the spaces. So one and a half. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make any sense how it is, so it's H, please. One, two, it's auto save. One, two, three, four, five spaces. One, two, three, four, five spaces. Okay, good stuff. So let's put it five spaces from here. No, what did I do that? Should have pressed H. H one two three four five in there is gonna be our next lift H five in there let's make it a mark free Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. It's gonna come on this side, of course. I'm gonna have to double this one. Uh, from here. Actually, I think I can turn it. No, I cannot because these guys are in the way. Okay, mark free. What am I missing? Still beams apparently. Not for long. Good thing we started producing those. Still got a bunch, but good thing we started producing those. Okay, we're about to bring our quick wire here. It's done in here. Okay. So, how should I do this? Because I want to work with the overflow. Once this box downstairs is filled up and this box is filled up and whatever we're gonna consume in here for those taters i want them to sink so i'm gonna put another box in here delete that one uh yeah go in there mark free please thank you very much 
Let's deposit the rest of it. Keep 500 for us. And now. We're gonna need to bring the pipes in here. First. Let's connect. This one of our. Box. Of ours. To that line. Perfect. So all of it is gonna go downstairs into our box, fill it up. When that guy is gonna get filled up, this one is gonna get filled up. And it's gonna be just amazing. We are making One eighty two to five. I said two to five. Okay. If I want to make all of this, I'm gonna need thirty. Require per minute. Uh, one assembler, eight steel pipes. It's gonna be a chore to bring it in here. Let's be serious. So my steel pipes are in this box in here. We're gonna need to make our way with some of them in there. That ain't gonna be pretty. Or bring the quick wire here. Well, let's think it for the future. If I bring, I'm gonna make more pipes. Okay. If I need more stators, this line is gonna take them in there. But will I need quick wire here? I mean, I do have enough space in here to evolve, expand that way. That one could expand that way. Because we will make those taters. We might be tempted to make some more rotors. I don't think so, because we're not using those as it is. Uh, nevertheless, having those rotors in here be made. How many? Four and four. Eight. Maybe we're gonna steal a few. Just to make two motors per minute, you know? Because it takes two and two. That will be really easy. So I think I wanna bring in here the pipes. Use that criterion quick wire and those steel pipes just to make I was stuff in here and I think I'm gonna delete this platform from here yep why not oh no I said I want to do the silica here could put it in there but not yet okay um I think it to bring it through here let's try and bring them underneath it's gonna be a million times better if I don't see it that's the main issue right now. Seeing it, you know? So, we get those in there. Come on, baby. Give me that. We're gonna come like this. In here. I think so. We're gonna have to modify that belt. Uh, to give me priority ahead. Actually, the priority is irrelevant at this point. It's going to fit maximum in there, maximum in there, excess from here will get synced. It's going to be amazing. I want to make those mark too, just to make it move faster. We are producing exactly 60, so I don't want to see them filled up like that. That one will be filled forever because our box is filled down there. It is what it is. Maybe in a millennia. It ain't gonna be like that. For now, that belt and that box in there is filled up. It is what it is. Um, 
Let me think about it. Mark free, mark free, mark free. Perfect. So I said I want to bring the pipes in there. I don't like the way that looks, so I'm going to do like this. How much Ethereum require when it's 60? This guy is going to have to be a mark too, otherwise we'll never get filled up. We're going to need 16 pipes. That's a mark, one belt. coming underneath from that place uh yep mm -hmm. let's put one on this side um in here I'm gonna split them half and half doesn't really matter of course I wanted to put that in there just to be aligned where do I have to be <sighs> okay so the right leg gotta touch that one That's straight. Now we're gonna have to go in there. So it's on this line. Perfect. It's gonna take a minute to get filled up, of course. But it's fine. We're not in a hurry here. We already have uh, everything that we need. Production wise, it's just amazing. Good stuff. I'll need power into this boy. Let's bring that power. I don't know. Next to it. Next to him. And put our status in here. We get eight of those. Be made. Eight. Perfect. It's good. I like it. Six. Is that mark two? It is. Perfect. Um you're gonna have eight stators and we already have in here yeah eight of those oh that looks great for an assembler will not you agree if i put it in here i'll be able to cycle it around with that belt but I will not like the way the exit will be made, so let's bring her from here, somewhere in the middle. I'm gonna find the middle first. Oh. Give me one of those, please. Models, please. Two. Because that will consume four and four. That's half of our production. So we'll be keeping four rollers and half of our production. We're gonna keep four stators in there. Nevertheless, that will give me two models per minute. 
it's more than I could ask for. stuff now the pipes will have to make their way here uh it's only gonna take a goddamn millennia to do that so but it's fine it's fine we're gonna be set up with this uh they should be coming at some point yep they are slowly but surely they're coming Let's see if that box has enough pipes in it. Apparently it does. Yep, it does. Gonna give her some more because I got plenty on me. Don't know what to do with them. Same with that stuff. Good. So, if we get down here. We fix this side. Fix this side. Uh, fix those we're missing AI limiters those are made copper sheet and quick wire if I'm not mistaken well we get some copper in there we got a quick wire in there I think it's feasible uh, let's modify this one here oops a daisy Okay, uh, computers, circuit boards, circuit boards, copper sheets, and silica, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Can it tire there? I'll have to excuse you. So, first things first, elementers, copper sheet, and quick wire. Perfect. Um, circuit boards. We can do it with plastic. We got a bunch that we're sinking right now. Way too much. Uh, nope. Yes. So, we're gonna make it with these guys. Uh, I don't think we're gonna need 50, but you never know. We're gonna make just a tiny bit for now, you know? And, uh, oh my god, we should make those. Those, I mean. Those. Manufacturer craft bench. We don't have the manufacturer at this time. We should make those. Yeah, we should start making those. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. If I put down a manufacturing here, uh, motors and heavies. Give me some heavies. Only have a hundred left. Give me some motors. Only have a million left. Let's see. So, crystal oscillator. Cross crystal. Got them up top. Cable and reinforced plate. Uh, I think we should go to a different place to make those. So, the quartz. I can put it in there. The cable. Uh, it's in here. Yeah, this guy. Which is stopped, of course. As you can see, we're sinking all the copper sheets were sinking all that wire so we could take advantage of that because all of this madness it's only for those three boxes down below so everything is getting synced we have some copper sheets in here apparently a bunch we have a bunch of wire which can be turned into cable without an issue and was something else needed Reinforced, yeah, reinforced iron plates. Well, those guys are in here. I don't know how much we're consuming right now. 7.5, so we still have 7.5 being made in there, which I would like to keep if possible. This guy is filled up, of course. How much for one of them? 2.5 so if I make three of you wow 
yeah if I make three of you I'm gonna consume those but if I make two of you only for a few radars whatever it's gonna be five it's gonna be fine no problem with that no problem with that so we'll come here and say two just uh, I'll see uh later oscillators yeah it was a two else perfect got it so uh, i think we're gonna be cool with that this is what we need to do so basically we're gonna have to turn that quartz that we got it down there into I don't even remember how much we're extracting that being mark two maybe it's something like hundred something between sixty and one twenty most likely one twenty because I took only one node if I remember correctly they're normal so I think the minor in it it's a mark one uh I will check that one out at some point I don't know when in three days four days i'm gonna have the time for now i don't have time uh we're gonna have to transform it in here Shh. hi there pet gonna pet it when i'm flying um make some crystals and some silica the silica will be used for the circuit boards with this magic is in here that we have way too many and we're sinking them all because that box below and that box up top is filled up so guess what i'm gonna take it from here with a mark free send it that way reunited or below reunited with that silica somewhere around here ish start making a few circuit boards uh the rest the crystals will be used let's say here with two of those manufacturers making two crystal oscillators per minute we're gonna steal from there some reinforced arm plates and from there the cable so i'm gonna have to come from there with the cable and with those I'm gonna pop out with them in here where is needed we're gonna take care of that having the blueprints make this so easy look two of them just delete one okay and you get your setup for everything in it it is what it is very simple guys we're gonna leave this episode in here because it's pretty long thank you so much for being here for watching this if you like it don't forget to put a like subscribe to the channel if you want to see more if by any chance you want to help me on my trip of becoming a full-time content creator you can do that by grabbing yourself an amazing membership thank you again i'll see you to the next one after what we finish with this whatever we had in here we're gonna have to start building some of this for sure because we're gonna need them bye now